Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new Let's Play series here with me, Sneaky Bard. It's time for Kingdom Come Deliverance, the so-called true RPG. This is a blind Let's Play series in as so far that everything I know about this like game comes from the video that Lady Liliana had posted like some time ago. It's down in the comment section of this game so you can have a look at it. Uh, she also has her own Let's Play series regarding Kingdom Come Deliverance, so you might also want to check that out. There was a brief prologue before we got to this starting screen. Basically, the setting is as such. King Charles IV of uh, the whole, or Emperor Charles IV of the Holy Roman Empire died. His son Wenceslav IV is not really uh, suited to be king. So his nobility turns on him and invites Sigismund of Hungary to take uh, the throne instead. Sigismund invades and that's where we are now, basically. So for all of those who've basically played EU4 at any times, we've had a noble coup. Or something like that. Or Hungary wants a personal union over Bohemia. Who knows? Anyway, let's press new game. The only thing I've changed here in the settings is I put the graphics a notch higher, but if the um, the loading screens become a bit too unbearably long, then I will probably knock them down. Not that I expect that to happen, but just in case so that you know if graphics-wise things change at some point, then that is the explanation. So let's see. Warhorse. I guess that is the name of the chapter. And we are also playing as a pre-made character, so let's read here. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now with his son Wenceslas the Idol on the Bohemian throne. Okay, you can read this, I can't read this quick enough. But yeah, we are playing as a pre-made character on a quest for vengeance, that's as much as I understand. Apparently everything you do in the game is supposed to matter. Everything, all of this was filmed in the actual locations in the Czech Republic, which is where Bohemia is. So, yeah, graphically absolutely stunning and very realistic. They went to great pains to make this as historically accurate as possible. And I do have to say, like, wow. We're in Silver Scarlets in 1403. So basically, this is still Crusader Kings time and not CP4, um, EU4. There we go. Let's see. Well, I do like the the graphics that I do have to say. We'll have to see how how the story develops, because the way the story is supposed to work is that you can get quests, but everything is like time. People live their lives and you can solve quests any way you want, but people will react differently differently to it. So think about this as like a mass effect on steroids. So, the actual paths through the story are not supposed to be as visible, I guess, as you'd expect. So, who are you, chap? That is definitely not us, because I think we start out as a blacksmith's son. Which is also where I'm going to put the caveat here. This is a blind let's play, but we're going to roleplay this. God bless. Same so, Today's a scorch. once we get into the game, I'll explain a bit more how that works in case these people want to babble do they no okay so the well i think soon there's going to be dialogue because we're well, zooming husband, in how goes it good that our father i should I get it finished today where on earth is henry ah, that's i us. need him to run some errands he was still sleeping when i went out well, this hour <laughs> blue blooded idler well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Oh god, the jabs at the nobility. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Alright. Clout round the ear should do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way we're going to roleplay this is we're going to roleplay Henry as Perrin Ibarra. Perrin from the Wheel of Time Henry. series. So, get up now. let's get up and I'll There's continue. Work to be done. 
That is like me in the morning, <laughs> definitely. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Well, at least there's Wait, breakfast. What's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? <laughs> you better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know well, how he feels about it. See it. Don't worry, it wasn't not hear it. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. <laughs> now get up. I do love these British voice actors, though. So rare with all the Americans in the industry. All right. So now it looks like we're finally in control. The cutscene is more or less over. Oh, quest started. Unexpected visit. So the way we're going to roleplay this is we're going to be Perry Nibara or like Perry Nibara from A fine the Wheel of Time. This morning. Are you going to? What on earth did you get up to last night? All right. We have. Okay. Cool. I'm going to keep this up. Uh, pause this for a moment and explain how this works. Finally. So we're going to play as Perrin Ibarra from the Wheel of Time. Why are we going to play as Perrin? Well, Perrin's background is similar to Henry's in that Perrin is a smith and we're a blacksmith's apprentice. Perrin in the series, for those of you who haven't read this awesome but long book series, is that he is rather careful in the way he speaks with people, which makes people think he's sometimes a bit slow. He values, though, honesty and directness above everything else and he's not the sort of character I'd normally play which means that you're sneaky but you kind of he like does uh, respect rules and if he can't get his way done he will convince you and only in the utmost circumstances where things actually need to get done and people are just stupid enough to not see that he's got his right will he try and force them so we will Try and play as pacifistically as pacifist as pacifist as possible, because that's supposed to be possible in this game. And I'm trying to figure out how much we can actually, you know, push the game in that direction. <clears throat> that's not to say there's not fighting when we truly feel that there's a cause worth fighting for, but we're definitely not going to be the type that's going around sneaking and stealing. So this is a challenge for me as well, because in these types of games, that's usually what I gravitate towards. Now, we have a conversation option that apparently determines some of our stats, so let's see. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. <clears throat> if you're not satisfied with them, not to worry, all characteristics can be further developed without limitations. So Perrin isn't that chatty, and neither is he someone who's very agile. But he would have worked at the forge, so let's say this. I assume enter is what we press. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected okay. with that We've scratch got perks and in levels. Hand, <laughs> and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Yeah, swords apparently make you suspicious I guess so are we going to go for I was with Bianca vitality or even more strength I mean Perrin is super strong but not like strong strong he's also you know a very uh, you'd say uh, how would you describe him like he's you know gruff uh, but trustworthy so I think we are going to in order to get some brawn not just like strength but also some stamina into this we're going to go with the vitality so i was with bianca i was with bianca do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did what's this an interrogation all right all right sorry son it's just that i worry about you oh thanks sweet. Ma, but i'm not four years old <laughs> i know how you've grown how? up in front of my eyes okay it's hard to get used to it Objective started. Go to your father. All right. So, go to the sword fighting lesson. I thought we weren't supposed to be doing any sword fighting. 
uh, let's ask for our friends. Just like any, you know, young adult. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They seem like... shouldn't be hard to find. <laughs> They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. I do love how one of our friends is called Matthew, because Perrin has a friend called Matt uh, in the series as well, and Matthew does seem a, like very much like a Matt character, who's sort of sneaky and wily and things like that. And, well, we'll see what Fritz is like. <laughs> Leave it be. Yeah, my friends aren't drugs, or you're misjudging them. We're going to say you're mi misjudging them, because we're not going to do the other option. You're misjudging them seems kind of like, you know, stern, but not wanting to provoke any fights, just like Perry would do it. That's unfair. Really? <laughs> so where were you until the small hours last uh, night? What's with the interrogation again? With Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? <laughs> and who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. <laughs> you should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. That what sounds it? wrong. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike <laughs> you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You <laughs> mark my words. And by swinging, I mean, you know, from a tree. But they definitely, our friends definitely sound like... Uh, the trio of Matt, Perrin, and Rand from the Wheel of Times. So actually, this went out superbly, trying to roleplay this as Perrin. Uh, so, okay, is Pa angry with me? Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. All right, all right. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees <laughs> ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Well, usually the storms do come after very sunny days, at least in my experience. So let's end the dialogue and go help our dad. But hey, should we ask her if she needs help? No, I mean, she did say that we should go to her dad, but let's just ask. And you see. need me to do anything, man. Ah, you're a good lad. <laughs> but I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Sure. Alright, let's end the dialogue. Also, what you need to do in this game is you actually do need to eat and do, you know... Okay, you move around using WASD, L-Shift, Sprint, Space Jump, okay. Cool. Fairly standard. You need to, you know, make sure that you eat and stuff. Okay, E to pick up. Okay, we are just picking these things up, I guess, not eating them. So this is our inventory, yes. Can we use this at all? 80 subtabs, time skip. Okay. Okay, this is all food. Eat. Ah, there. E. Okay. Ah, okay, you need to hold. Alright, there we go. We've had our breakfast that consisted of cheese. And only cheese. Well, I do do love cheese, so there's nothing wrong with Ooh, there's apples and tarts and whatnot. Can we eat? Wow, look at that. Apple? Give up inventory? We can't pick it up for whatever reason. Are the apples too heavy for us? Alright, well let's let's escape us get up? Okay. So getting used to the controls here. Wow. I'm not sure how you guys are feeling, but this might actually, like, the sitting down might induce some slight motion sickness. And I never get motion sickness, usually. Let's open. Alright, this is the storage. Can we open here and go outside? Yes, good. Let's go and help our father. By the... This is where I think I should have paid more attention, but I think the forge was this way. There we go. You discovered grindstone. Alright. 
Wow, look look at this. This just reminds me of like Hobbiton meets Rohan, basically. Wow. I need to go to the Czech Republic sometimes. Yes, I'll come, I'll come. Can I pick the hammer up? No. Talk. What's that. the matter with you? Didn't you hear me calling you? <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effects of your weapons and equipment, but other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Do we need to wash our clothes as well? You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. In special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, e.g. horsemanship. It's not only a manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because it's not enough to uh, just choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. <laughs> you have to really read, okay. That, that seems like that's our pitfall there. But different approaches work on different work. But different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Your money, the amount you have to pay, total charisma, total strength, total... Alright. I think I understand this. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. <laughs> I won't be ordered around. Well, let's see. I don't think he's going to appreciate this. <laughs> and definitely not this, so let's just do the normal speech skill. I had to do something. Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Good. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. All right. What? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. Sure. We'll need some money, then. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer. And then use the money to buy the charcoal. Sure. Kunes, not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can. So manage. we have to. If not, tell him that next time I'll come him, myself. Sort of. <laughs> personally, use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure, I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? all not right, quite. The chamberlain of the castle glitch. has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. All right. And A. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way sure. home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. <laughs> Your name is Bianca. <laughs> right. So make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay. The dialogue is okay. A bit wooded at times, like. Her name is Bianca, like, where did that come from? I mean, sure, he's calling her that girl, but still, it's meant as a joke. I assume it's meant as a joke. Alright, so let's see. Um, I assume we will find the drunkard by the tavern. And then to the... So we have to go to the tavern twice, basically. And probably Matthew and Fritz will be by the tavern as well. Okay. Indeed I am. Alright, merchants. Who are you? Play dice? No. Hey Pip! 
Oh, that's... well, okay. If we turn too quickly... Yeah, this is nauseating with the graphics. If we turn too quickly, might have to put them down a slight notch. Is that Kunish? You're a traitor. You look like a drunkard, though. Why are you? You're an archer. I'd love to be an archer. I'll probably gravitate towards an archer type parent, even though he's a melee fighter in the book, just because, you know, I love my bows. Why are you? You're a traitor? Where's the goddamn tavern? Help me. Map? So where's the tavern? Buy ale at the tavern. Blacksmith? Collect the debt from Kunish. Which is... I'm here, so I need to go like this. So slightly behind to where I'm looking, I guess. Alright. I'll promise and try not to turn that quickly. And for the next episode, we will put down the graphics in slight notch. Hopefully that will fix the issue. Okay. Done. So, is Kunesh? Where are you? Okay. Ah. Okay, so there's a... There, well, let's jump up. So if I follow this here, then I should go to Kunesh. Up top we have the... The letters. Alright. So let, that's the timer, but let's at least talk to Kunesh. Sorry, this episode is a bit slower because I'm still like trying to get my bearings around. Yeah, we definitely need to do something with the graphics because it's getting a bit choppy since it's trying to load stuff while I'm walking. So let's put them down a slight notch, even though they look so good. Anyway, Kunesh, money. All right. Go be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? <laughs> father sent me for money. All right. That's probably the only option. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. <laughs> okay. Now we can't see if uh, if we are trying to use strength or whatever. But let's see. Well, pay for the tools. Tools, at least. We're not going to threaten him just now. Father, for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of <laughs> here, or I'll use the axe on you. All right. Hmm. We. Perrin would probably, you know, try and use his strength a bit, but he's not never using it in a direct way. So this is a bit, um, uh, bit too direct, I think, f for Perrin. So I'll definitely just go with the regular speech. With debts must be paid. I doubt it will impress Kunesh a lot. Wow, our, we're dressing quite, quite well actually. If you look here, and our speech skill isn't the the greatest so but yeah I'm I'm going with this one because we're role-playing parent look I know things aren't easy the wife ran off booze is dear these days and you're as much use as a square wheel it's no wonder you're short of coin but a debt's a debt and I can't leave here without something you son of a whore. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Alright, we have to fight him, apparently. Okay. So, what do we need to do? Choose attack direction using m the mouse. You can't attack from a grayed out direction. Stamina. If an opponent strike hits your armor or you block it, it will cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely defeated, you won't be able to defend yourself. If you And health, if you cover yourself badly and your armor's weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding, and bleeding will lead to death. The more your health is depleted, the lower your maximum stamina. Alright, F kicks an opponent. Tab locks an opponent. Q, okay. Alright. And we can stab and slash with the mouse buttons. Fair enough. 
So, there we go. Wow. Oh dear. Oh, we got a wound. This isn't going too well. Ouch. I thought Q was blocking. What's going on here? <laughs> Ouch, we got hit. Okay. Am I blocking? Yes, I blocked. Ouch, you hit me. Oh. Oh no, objective started. Okay, he beat us up. You had it coming, <laughs> you pup. Your old man can fuck off too. Okay, we did get into hey, a fight. Watch it. Lout. Okay. Interesting. We lost our first fight. Our first fist fight. Hopefully the next one goes a bit better if we end up in one. But that is it for the episode. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a bit uh, slower. And as always, this is a blind Let's Play series, so I'm going to make lots of hopefully hilarious mistakes. But as always, if you did like the episode, do give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe so you know what else is going on on the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.